I'm now joined by Taylor Brown, COO of Fivetran, along with Krishnan Parasuraman, head of Global Field CTO office at Snowflake. Gentlemen, great to be with both of you here today. Thank you. Thanks. Excited to be here with you, Ryan. Thank you. Taylor, at Fivetran, you help customers use their data to power everything from AI applications and ML models to predictive analytics and operational workloads. In your seat as COO, what trends are you noticing and how are you adapting to meet the ever-changing needs of your customers? Well, first of all, uh, excited to be here and uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for having us on. Yeah, I mean, on everyone's mind right now is AI, obviously. And, you know, we're adapting uh, first and foremost uh, by listening to our customers. We spent, uh, we partnered with MIT and we did a survey of, of both our customers and a bunch of non-customers to ask them, you know, how is AI stacking up in, in your overall importance? Uh, and 80% of them said AI is the most important thing at their business today. It's the top priority for them individually. And then 60% of them that integration and actually getting data is like the most valuable and most challenging part that they're facing today. Because at the end of the day, AI is built on top of data. Right. If you don't have good access and reliable access to data and secure access to data, you're, you're basically SOL. And a lot of these folks, I think 60% said they had multiple different data sources they're trying to pull together. So imagine like they just have data everywhere, they're trying to get it together. You know, a story we've heard in the past, uh, and, you know, and I think they're also trying to figure out, hey, how does the governance work for this, right? Like, how do I make sure that it is secure? How do I make sure that I, I limit what's actually going to be shown to my customers, et cetera? Um, and the funny thing when, I, when you think about it is it's, it's very similar to like 15 years ago when, when BI was still really just like taking off. And a lot of customers were trying to get data from various different places and they were like sending CSV files and they weren't really building infrastructure around it. And that's what we're seeing a lot today. Uh, and so what Fivetran is focused on and what Fivetran does best is data infrastructure. We've been largely focused on you know, the BI workloads and now we're focusing a lot on the AI and ML workloads and just and supporting those. We've been partnered with Snowflake very deeply since 2015 uh, and, and we're excited to, uh, to be continuing to, to release and work very closely with Snowflake ongoing to help our customers you know, build their AI ML uh, workloads on top of the data cloud. So, you know, that, that's what we're doing. We have a couple of announcements, but I think we're going to talk about those in a bit. So we're going to dive into those a little bit later here. Krishan, a number of innovations were just announced this week at Snowflake Summit. What are the key takeaways and what kind of benefits can partners like Fivetran expect? Yeah, first of all, thank you, Ryan, and then very excited to be here with Tyler and Fivetran. Um, so the big announcements that we made really fall into the three go-to-market themes that we have for our customers, right? So the first and foremost we are trying to do is simplify the data foundation. Uh, the second thing is we want to accelerate our customers journey to AI, and the third thing is scale the application. So everything that we were talking about this week sort of fits in the context of those things. On the data simplification piece, the most uh, exciting thing that we were talking about this week is all about Iceberg, right? Um, so two big announcements that has really got our customers energized and charged. Uh, the first is our, our support for Iceberg and our ability to sort of support Iceberg um, tables uh, and, and, and going GA on all three major clouds. Uh, what does that mean for our customers? Our customers who have um, data that's sitting in data lakes or they're using lake houses or data meshes um, and data outside of Snowflake, now we have a mechanism to interoperate with that, right? So they don't have to physically move data and we can bring the compute and all the benefits of Snowflake to that storage. So that's super exciting. That sort of gives us incredible opportunities. And a related announcement to that is really around Polaris and the open sourcing of that catalog. Because one of the big misconceptions that our customers have had was that while Iceberg itself was open source and by sort of moving to that format, um, you were getting away from vendor lock-in. Uh, but what they failed to understand was catalogs were predominantly closed source. And by using a proprietary catalog, they were handing over control to access to that data. And what we have done in the industry is sort of set this new uh, sort of uh, imperative and said, look, uh, catalogs need to be open source. It needs to be, you need to really democratize access to uh, data setting in Iceberg. And that's what Polaris this is all about, and we are very excited about the ecosystem of partners that we are collaborating with um, that are committed um, to uh, Polaris, and we are also excited that Fivetran is very seriously considering that and will be part of that ecosystem soon. Great to hear. Thank you, Krishna. Taylor, sticking with current events, to your earlier statement, some exciting news were just announced out of Fivetran with the support for managed data lakes and Snowflake native data pipelines. How does this better position the business for the years ahead? Yeah, it's a great question. So as Krishan was just saying, uh, the first one is uh, our managed data lake service provides uh, uh, support for loading data into Iceberg. 
uh, works perfectly with Snowflake. We're very excited uh, about the, the, the Polaris uh, catalog. We'll be integrating very closely with that. Our customers of all sizes, but particularly our larger customers, have been asking us to support Iceberg for a long time. And so I think this gets us both closer to help support them in what they've been asking for. A lot of that ask is coming around their, their, their need for uh, ability to build on top of this data for AI and ML you know, use cases. Um, and so this is the first step in, in that piece of it. And now we integrate directly into Snowflake. So customers can build their data lake right on top of the Snowflake. We can can deliver it in Iceberg natively. Uh, so that's the first really big one. Uh, and then the second big one is native apps within Snowflake. You know, I think of this as the easy button, which is basically, you know, customers need to get data into Snowflake. How do they do that? Well, today they have to go and they, you know, set up a five train account. It's relatively easy, but at the same time, you know, there are times when customers just want to stay within the Snowflake ecosystem. And native apps is uh, is a marketplace for you know customers to use their uh, Snowflake commit and their Snowflake spend and you know set up a uh, a connector to bring data from you know from Salesforce, from uh, Workday, from ServiceNow, from Postgres, you know, various different places, and, uh, and just do that all within the Snowflake application, uh, and it makes it extremely easy for them to get going. So we launched our, our first connection today, which is, which is Postgres. We will have a lot more uh, connections coming. Fivetran has over 500 connections total, uh, and we're adding, you know, I think almost 200 this year. So the idea is that it's very easy for customers to come into Snowflake and set up any connections they need to get data from wherever they need it into their data cloud and then build on top of that. So these are the two really you know, big announcements that we have this week. Great to hear. It's clearly all happening here at Snowflake Summit. Similarly, Krishnan, what does this announcement mean for the broader data, AI data cloud ecosystem? Sure, so benefit to our customers is two things. So one is, um, a, it gives us access to our customers to data that's sitting outside of Snowflake, right? Across different applications, across data lakes, and so on and so forth. Um, so it eliminates that as a silo, and by opening access to that data and bring that uh, into Snowflake, gives them incredible opportunity in driving value out of that data. So that's one important thing. And then the native app component is also very valuable for our customers in two fronts. One is it eliminates uh, procurement friction, right? So if a customer has to now buy uh, Fivetran, they have to go through a, a long uh, process of sort of establishing a direct relationship with them, contracting with them, and so on and so forth. By a native app, by definition, becomes available in marketplace, and our customers can use potentially their Snowflake credits to buy that, right? So it's it's faster time to value through that process, right? So these are some really uh, very valuable benefits for our customers. Great to hear, Krishnan. Clearly, the AI hype cycle is past, and this technology is very much here to say. What advice would you both like to give the audience on how to implement AI to future-proof their businesses? Taylor, why don't you kick us off? Yeah, again, I think folks should think back to 15 or 20 years ago when they set up their, when they started working on their BI stack and think about like AI as an infrastructure, right? And I think the second piece is you should not think about BI and AI as separate infrastructures. A lot of teams build out, you know, the, all their infrastructure, their, their warehousing, their clouds for these two use cases completely separately. And the reality is there's a lot of synergy and there's a lot of data that you need to share between your different use cases, whether it's operational, whether it's analytical, whether it's AI or ML, and, and so I would push everyone to make sure you build one you know, data cloud that you're building, or one you know, uh, you know, cloud data platform that you're then building your entire environment on like outside of that, and don't think of AI as the special thing over here. It's the same. Incorporated uh, into it. It's incorporated all in, into the same exact mix. So that's, that's the thing that we're pushing, and I think that's the thing that like, we're seeing the most success from our larger businesses who have committed to the infrastructure to help support their AI you know, uh, work Workloads, and it also, by the way, helps with everything else that they're doing, right? So think about it as one as one thing. Thank you, Taylor. Krishnan. Yeah, the one uh, big uh, perception that many of our customers have is AI is extremely complex. It requires highly specialized skills, uh, and it requires very specific people. We need to hire an army of data scientists to make that successful. That was probably true a few years back. Uh, but what we are trying to do with Snowflake is make that more and more accessible um, to SQL developers, to Python developers, who are not necessarily very sophisticated or have deep data science backgrounds, right? So what we saw even yesterday in our, in our keynote was we just had a 
a, a SQL developer come up on stage and build a chatbot in five minutes, right? So it's not something you need to be intimidated. Uh, it's, it's We have looked at common repeatable themes and problems and abstracted them into something super simple. So even if you're an analyst or a, or a, or a power user or a BI developer, AI is now accessible and we strongly encourage them to sort of take that step forward and then use the capabilities that we are making available in our product. Great to hear Snowflake making it easier across the board for the broader ecosystem. Yep. Gentlemen, such a pleasure having you on the program today. Likewise. All right, Thank thanks so much. so much. Thank you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon.